What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to jump on here and share some news from the regiment as it relates to Special Forces Assessment and Selection. For you guys that aren't aware, Special Forces Assessment and Selection is a three-week course that is ran out of the Special Warfare Training Center here at Fort Bragg geared towards selecting qualified individuals to attend the qualification course, which if they graduate, they will earn the Special Forces tab and the Green Beret. That course as it stands is approximately three weeks long and it's broken down into three separate phases. You have admin week, which candidates will go through a variety of physical challenges. Then you have land navigation, which individuals will go through and they'll conduct a week long uh, task which revolves around land nav and towards the end they'll take what's called the store course which is a 10 hour land navigation course then it ends with team week which individuals uh, get broken down into teams and then they'll go around conducting a variety of small missions right once that is complete if they are successful they will get selected and they'll move on to the qualification course which is approximately a year long and two years long for 18 deltas right um so what is the news that i wanted to share with you guys so uh i only know of one time where the special forces assessment and selection course has changed and that was back in 2008 it went from three weeks to approximately two weeks all right i went to selection in april of 2008 and when i went through it was approximately two weeks all right and it sucked because we still did all the tasks that were required uh, for individuals that attend a three week course, all right? It was same task, just a condensed timeline, right? Which meant we had no downtime at all. And the selection rate for the two week course was horrendous. So they went back to the three week uh, long course. But this morning I was speaking to some buddies of mine that work over at the uh, recruitment center and they mentioned that the regiment is thinking about going to a four week long selection course i know you guys want to get back to this video but before we do that are you interested in going to special forces assessment and selection are you ready to go and actually get selected have you done everything in your power to make sure that you have the leg up against the next individual if there's any hint of hesitation guys more than likely you're not if you check out the links below guys i have a patreon set up with a variety of prep courses geared towards helping you prep small price to pay to either live a life of fulfillment or a life of regret all right with all that said guys check it down below you also get access to the discord where you'll have a variety of dudes approximately 100 right now that's already been sharing lessons learned and also sharing knowledge to help you the end user attend crush and get selected i'll see you guys over there they are going to add a additional week onto the second week of special forces assessment and selection which is land nav week so um why are they doing that why would they do that so as it stands land nav is the highest attrition area all right that's where we lose the most candidates and special forces assessment and selection it's just one of those tasks that guys just can't perform right all you need is a bad day out there and it can derail your entire stay at selection right and the store course itself like i mentioned guys that thing's a beast to pass so i think they're doing this uh because they want to figure out how to retain and select more guys and since week two or land nav week is where they're having the most issues they're adding an additional week to give guys more instructions to give guys more practice so when they get to the store course towards the end of uh land nav week they can actually pass so i understand why they're doing it i don't have an issue with them doing it but you also got to think about the pros and the cons of doing something like this all right so the pros got it guys are getting more exposure to land navigation and more guys will probably end up passing because now they'll have an additional week to actually hone those skills right the con however is now you have more time underneath a rucksack all right as if three week wasn't enough now your body has to endure another week under the ruck and after that guys you will ride in the team week because i'm telling you guys being under that ruck for an additional week 
does have the ability to affect uh, your stay over at team week once you get to that phase. So what's the timeline for this? So when are they going to implement this? So as of right now, guys, they are looking at running a pilot course towards the end of this year and going into fiscal year 24, it will be a four week long selection class. So if you follow me over here, guys, I just want to make sure that you guys get the information so you can make sure that you're prepared if your intent is to go to selection uh, in fiscal year 2024, right? This information was uh, being thrown around in the Discord, which if you're not a part of Discord, guys, make sure you join because these are the type of information you'll be privy to, right? All I did was reach out, make some calls, and confirm what the guys already knew, all right? Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are as far as going to a four-week selection course as opposed to a three. I have my personal opinion about it that I just shared, but I'm eager to hear what you guys think, all right? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Until next time, take care of yourself.